we're going to do this in a one go. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. SJ Poor here from Little Face Brewing. Let me pull you just a little bit closer to me. That way I don't have to speak quite as loud in the whole nine yards. Look at the hair growing back in, huh? The golden locks. The beard's coming in quite nicely. Today's going to be, um, I do have a lot. <laughs> I have an enormous amount of stuff to talk about. Uh, however, I'm not going to talk about that stuff today. So we'll touch on those items uh, later. So today, I'm simply going to enjoy a beer. I'm going to enjoy a homebrew uh, that was sent to me by Josh Hoover. Man Bear Pig 11223344555. This is actually his uh, peanut butter stout. It's a 6.4%. Um, and this was the way he has it on here as seen on episode one of my Brain to Glass video. So there you have that which is nice, and he's got my initials on top. <laughs> if you have an opportunity, go to Man Bear Pig's uh, channel and go back and look at these Brainy Glass videos. They are pretty cool. I've been wanting to do one, and uh, hopefully I'm going to have a little bit of time coming up here in the real near future to be able to do that and actually to devote more uh, to Homebrew Wednesday videos and the Internet Homebrew crowd. So let's crack into that. A little bit of a hiss, which is nice. I got my uh, the brewery glass. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is actually keg conditioned and bottled off the keg. So I should be able to go with a full outpour. If there's any sediment in here, it would be just, oh, look at that, nice and clean the whole way down. We're going all in. All in. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Right off the bat, I am looking at a beautiful beer. Look how nicely that poured. That is almost the perfect head. Nice little brown. Nice little brown. Uh, nicely tight um, head. It's kind of tan. Tannish in color. Oh, wow. The aroma on this is peanut butter. Oh. <laughs> Reese's peanut butter cup. Man, dude, if you portrayed any of that fla any of that aroma into the flavor, you done good, Tater. That aroma is phenomenal. <sighs> I'm going in for a taste. Oh, that is nice. What I especially like about this, and I'm not sure how you achieved it. Oh, it's just a nice coating on the mouth. It really is. It's this is a fun beer to drink. That is phenomenal. Well done, Josh. What I especially like about this is, I mean, that's peanut butter, and I've been. Uh, I actually just now came up with an idea for another beer. <laughs> Because of this and what I'm about to say, I've uh, I started eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I, I grab one basically for a brunch every day at at, uh, at work. I make one in the morning, and uh, Jiffy uh, peanut butter. I love Jiffy peanut butter. 
Um, that's the flavor that I'm getting. It's, it's a good, nice, creamy uh, peanut butter, like in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich peanut butter. Um, but what I really like about this is the chocolate is like a special dark, like a Hershey's special dark chocolate. I love special. Out of any candy bar out there, if you give me those little Hershey's special dark minis, I'm good. I'm good. I'm set. I'm set for life. Mm. It's like a special dark Reese's peanut butter cup where they use the dark chocolate. I like that. Picking up, you know, the roasted notes from the grains. Yep, I'm getting all that. But really, this beer is about the peanut butter. This is a chocolate peanut butter stout. This is what it's all about. I mean, I could talk about the others, but you, 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 everything in there that you pick up from a stout is in there. I will say that the mouthfeel, the oats, must have really carry that mouthfeel along, which helps carry that flavor profile the whole way through the beer. It really does. It suspends it throughout the entire beer. Ah, that is really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm digging that. That is super nice. Uh, so we'll touch on a couple things. SG Port Challenge 2017. I'm um, hoping here real soon to get another video out to uh, cover some more of that things. But I need to take care of some personal things in my life before um, I can you know, devote any you know much more time to that. So, um, but that's coming. That that's going to be soon, real soon. Um, shoot you out an update on that. In fermenter back there, I've got a double IPA that I need to keg. Bailey has her chocolate brown back there. I still have a mash uh, wash to clean up to try and, and run. I've got my farmhouse ale. I kegged up uh, the Viking, uh, Screaming Viking. So I do want to give that a taste. Uh, that's been charging. That's I set up another keyser upstairs, uh, put a controller on it. So it fits three kegs nicely. I can probably fit four in there without too much issue i'm not going to get five um and it's just a key it's just a freezer with a controller on it um uh, but it's more of the analog controller which excuse me i'm actually really liking over the uh fancy digital one that i have down here so it's nice you just set the dial i threw a thermometer in there to you know, keep an eye on everything, and it's it's spot on. And I have it at like 30, 38 degrees, and that seems to keep it at just under uh, 40, which I'm, I'm cool with because it has a 4-degree uh, differential so that it's not kicking on and off all the time, which I'm totally cool with. Uh, so I got three charging in there. We got another three in the other fridge, and I have five on tap down here. So we have plenty of beer. <laughs> I want to get into, uh, we have a test to run uh, with Grant Baker. Uh, he's going to be sending some beers over to Kevin, and I still plan on sending some beers out to him. So we want to get that taken care of because we're running a test on um, international shipped beers. Because um, we do believe that there is an effect on those beers when we're shipping really long distances like that. So uh, we're running some tests on that. Should be cool to see how they work out. So there's lots of things going on uh, coming up in the future. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more home brewing uh, myself. Um, I've been kind of handcuffed with my with my home brewing lately, but that's about to free up, and uh, I'm going to be able to let my creative juices run wild, as they say. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, NHC is coming up. How cool is what they're getting ready to do out there? Uh, all three beers, uh, the top three beers will be brewed. So if you're going to NHC this year, 
get over to the Brewcraft USA tent, baby. Try the beers. You're, you're going to taste the three best home brews in the world. Uh, that is so cool. So let me see where my time is. I am at 10 minutes. I'm a little over 10 minutes. I want to get out of here. I just wanted to pop in. This is way longer than I intended. I wanted to enjoy the fruits of Josh's labor, and I am. Uh, so thank you so very much, Josh, for sending this out. Uh, give Michelle a big old hug and a kiss from SJ. And, uh, um, yeah, I want to leave it on that. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. Brew beer. Brew wonderful, wonderful beer. <laughs> Cheers. And we're out.